Sidewalk close to the sign reads, but that's not stopping these folks from taking their chances as they try to navigate roped off sidewalks and streets around Karoo Tower. This is like wow. Jordan Harris had quite a bit of trouble getting into his bank at the corner of Fifth and Vine. He and others got to the main entrance on Vine, only to be redirected to another entrance on Race. It was really a workout. Just go in and get just some measly roll of quarters. Roll of quarters. Karoo Tower was undergoing renovations Monday when several bricks came crashing down from the 49th floor, hitting multiple cars. The fire department says a moving platform on this scaffolding bumped into the side of the building, dislodging those bricks, which were in the process of being repaired. Local 12 has asked the tower's owner, Victrix Investments, for more information about that project and what's being done to make things safe. We've also asked the city, but they referred us to Victrix and wouldn't say when the streets might reopen. They've also repeatedly declined our request for an interview. You got to give us some type of answers. You know, our tax, our taxes, you know, fund this whole city and everything. So the least you can do is give us some answers. Yet this building inspector we saw leaving Karoo Tower this evening wasn't giving any. No idea when this is going to be reopened. I have no comment. Not everyone's eager to see the scaffolding and barricades go away. For Vincent Wilson, it's a rare opportunity to relax smack dab in the middle of Vine Street. So I think we should keep this as close as long as possible. We need to find some park benches. We need to find some like trees and pots. From breaking news to feel good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.